the German romantic composer and pianist Robert Schumann. Schumann was very smart, his father was a bookseller and Robert spent time in the library. He was planning to make a career in literature as writer. Even Nobel Prize Georges Bernard Shaw praised him for his writing ability. At 16, his father passed away. His mother decided to stop music for a prestigious lawyer career. He left home for the Leipzig Law School and spent time hanging out and studying. Depressed, he made a first suicide attempt soon after his brother died of cholera. But he got his musical revelation when seeing the showman Niccolo Paganini performing on violin. He begged his mother to let him become a pianist. She agreed and set him off studying with Friedrich Wick, the best piano teacher at the time. During his piano lessons, he fell head over heels for the eight years old Clara Wick. The daughter of the piano teacher, Mr. Wick was opposed to the relationship, but they got married when she attained her legal age. Robert wanted a career as a virtuoso concert pianist. He decided to train hard his fingers with a homemade device based on a cigar box. Instead, he injured permanently his two fingers of his right hand. He couldn't perform concert anymore, but kept on composing. 1941, just married, Schumann was so happy and in love that he composed more than 100 songs. This is Schumann's year of song. Robert and Clara both play piano at home. Robert loved being a father of eight kids. He helped for her bringing, feeding, cleaning and play with them as well. This brought influence on his work, like the Mary Plowman and scenes from childhood. He suffered from melancholia and depression all through his life. After attempting suicide by drowning, he was admitted in a mental asylum where he passed away at 46. Despite conservative mode of composition, Schumann influenced the 19th century composers and beyond, such as Brahms and Eduard Helger. <laughs> 